Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Season 7, episode 10 of Fear the Walking Dead is up on AMC Plus now. It'll be out on cable next week on, what is it, Febu uh, February, April 24th. So, spoiler warning if you guys haven't seen it yet, and just a reminder, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We did hit our um, episode 1 review earlier this morning, so you can check that out. That'll be out on regular TV tonight. And yeah, so, jumping right into it, um... This episode kind of suffers the same thing that episode 9 did, and it barely progresses the story. And another thing like this episode and episode 9 kind of really did that I don't think was the smartest move. It kind of reminds me of season 7 episode 1 with Will, how we get introduced to a really like interesting character just from be killed off by the end of the episode. And I feel like episode 9 and episode 10 did that with uh, Paul's character, with Alicia, and now Ollie, who is interacting with charlie and presumably they were making a relationship which is tarnished but episode mainly focuses on ollie we know that uh strands out doing something with the doing something outside the tower so how he's kind of in charge right now how he's his right hand man and we do get focuses on charlie june john we get a glimpse of wendell even though it wasn't like the biggest story point and I actually I like Wendell, so I want to see more Wendell, which I'm I'm sure as this, as the season progresses we will. But basically, Ollie is aspiring to be a ranger and prove himself to the tower because that's what we come to find out throughout the episode is how he lied about how he was with his dad to the end and he ended up leaving him, and kind of like had this big revelation with Charlie's with Charlie's issue she ends up coming with, but he's out getting this um butterfly called the morning cloak which is a beautiful butterfly i guess that only lives for about a year and strength has like jars of butterflies on a shelf that in his i think it's in his quarters office whatever you would like to call it and so he's out getting one of those and that's when we find out the it looks like the girl that was saving alicia in episode nine was charlie and we spend most of the episode kind of going back and forth like is charlie actually like trying to stay here because she claims she wants like a normal life for the first time and ever which is kind of something that's going on in the walking dead with the commonwealth with some of the people in the hilltop before all that shit went down with lance and so it come to find out like even though she was going to go with, through with her plan she didn't want it but basically charlie volunteers for this mission to get a to get a panel off a elevator in another building that's apparently filled with radiation walkers and basically she needs to do that because the elevator in the tower got busted back when arno and his group were throwing the walkers through the walls and blowing them up and all that and inside there like they already had a ranger that was got radiation poisoning and ended up either getting thrown or jumped off the top of the tower we didn't get to specifically see but um it come down to the situation where Charlie ends up successfully doing that, but she reveals to Ollie what her true intentions were because Morgan actually sent her to go turn off that big spotlight so they can start thinning the herd, getting ready for an attack, or at least we assume it's to get ready for an attack. But basically, she ends up changing her mind because, like, she likes Ollie, and it looked like like even though he walked howard and was like yeah we found out her true intentions because that's what howard was setting him up to do um he ends up coming back and saving her after trapping her in an elevator with all those radiation walkers he shoots them all but then inevitably she ends up getting radiation poisoning passes out and he has to take her back to the tower he has to lie to howie and we come to find out that charlie is supposed to die soon which I don't know if that's exactly what's going to happen. It's definitely a strong possibility. But, like, we've seen, like, you know, these false scares with Grace and such. So, like, it might not be that serious. And plus we have, like, this weird thing going on with Alicia. Is she going to die from the walker bite or what's making her sick? But anyways, like, he ends up, um, he as an Ollie ends up taking all those butterflies and sudden like releasing them in a room which would end up pissing strand off when he's able to get back and she's like i uh, i i need to turn off that light but hey you know I, I wish i could tell morgan what's going on and ollie's like you know what i'll take care of it and that ends up being where his demise comes from 
because when he's up there about to do it, how he was suspectful, had him and a couple of his rangers up there end up having a little tuffle where how how he wants to take him out one on one. And it's kind of presumed that Howie might have a, like a little bit of a, not necessarily like a relationship, like for, like fa- more like a family type deal. But he's like seems genuinely upset that he's got to do this to Ollie. Maybe he had big hopes for him, but he ends up choking him and tossing him off the tower. Charlie is heartbroken and comes out to tell June as Howie comes down the elevator. And this scene probably was one of the bigger ones, but um. Basically, at first it seems like uh, John Sr. is on the tower side after we've seen that it wasn't going to be like that. But how he threatens Charlie and June, and June's like, no, I'm going to protect him. Victor needs me more than he needs you. I'm the only doctor in this place. Anyone gets injured, sick, any of that, the place is going to fall. So Howard's like, okay, okay, you know what, tread carefully, whatever. And then there's the conversation between June and John. He's like, hey, I got to make them think I believe that. I'm the only one that can get in Strand's ear. I thought Howard could, but it's going to have to be me. And June's like, hey, I tried doing that. The Virginia didn't work. And John's basically like, it's got to work. So what this is kind of setting up, what it's kind of setting up is there's going to be a civil war inside the tower, as well as Morgan's group attacking the tower, as well as Arno's group attacking the tower. And so there's going to be, like, this weird, like, four-part war almost, even though it's going to have three different groups, you know what I'm saying? And then it's also teased by the scavengers when they're going into the building there because uh, Ollie gets uh, captured for a moment. They're uh, saying Strand's the one putting all those radiation walkers in that big uh, in that big crater. So, and I was thinking back to the first part of the season seven, I can't remember which episode or what scene it was, but I think that's definitely a strong possibility of what's going on. So, like, Strand's set getting ready for some kind of, like, nuclear walker war- warfare, if you will. And, yeah, was, I mean, parts of it, bits and parts of this episode, and even episode nine, did set the story forward, but it seemed like it was just, like, really weak at doing that. Personally, I would have liked to see, well, and, you know, Grace showed up too, but I would have liked to see more more characters or if they're going to focus on like Ali, Paul and even back to season 7 episode 1 with Will why are they killing them off so quick it's like they're introducing characters to kill them off real quick or characters that we might actually like on the show but yeah so and then I've seen some other messages going around on the internet that maybe this is Charlie's death because Madison's coming back and if Madison found out what Charlie did to Nick wouldn't be wouldn't be like good for Charlie so maybe they're just clearing house for that I I personally kind of want to see Charlie and Madison interact, so I hope that's not the case. But it does look like this is the way that it might be going. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a lot more to break down at this moment because I kind of expected more, to be honest. I don't, like, kind of like what I said about episode 9, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's Walking Dead. It's cool. I hope next week's more. The preview shows some Daniel. I can't wait to see Daniel back in action, like how he was, because the last few seasons he's tapered down a little bit. I want to see Daniel in full Daniel assassin army mode that we got to see in the first few seasons of Fear the Walking Dead. And I think there's a chance for that, and I really hope they they really nail that part home. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Season 7, Episode 10, uh, Morning Cloak, which is the name of that butterfly. Uh, Subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, and yeah, we're going to be covering all these Walking Dead shows as they come out, and see if I can get some other news out for you. There's a couple videos that I do want to make. I've just... It's Easter weekend. I work a lot, trying to have more time to make more. But, you know, I thank you guys for all the support, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.